Hi everybody, welcome back to Mando Lessons. In this lesson, we're going to be working um, on the tune and song Man of Constant Sorrow. It's kind of a classic in the bluegrass world. Um, what we're going to be doing is this is going to be a series where I kind of take you through the steps of uh, how I approach bluegrass. Um, and you know, everybody approaches it a little different, so this is just my take on it. Um, just to put that out there. So in this lesson, we're going to be working on chords, um, learning to play chords to the melody and sing the melody. I'm no great singer myself, um, but you know I do what I can. And um, yeah, so we'll just go from here. I'm going to be playing it in the key of G. We're going to be using G, C, and D chords. Um, to start off, I'll just use these simple kind of two-finger chords. If you're not familiar with those, there's lessons over at mandolessons.com that will help you learn those chords. Um, and then I'm going to be moving into these chop chord shapes. Um, there's a couple different versions, but that all, there's also lessons on making those chop shapes over at mandolessons.com. So, you know, maybe you at a bluegrass festival and you walk over to a group and they're playing this song, Man of Constant Sorrow. And you, maybe you've heard it before, maybe you haven't. Um, but you know, what, what I kinda, the first thing that I do when I walk into a jam situation, try to figure out what key people are playing in. So, um, that, that'll really give you a good, a good start of you know, what chords you might expect to find in the tune. So, as I said, we're gonna be using the key as G. Um, so, here we go. I'll sort of sing my version of Man of Constant Sorrow. There's a bunch of different versions. It's a really old song. Um, and this is how I would do it, just with simple two finger chords. Some people will add this little tag after that. The place where he was born and raised. And kind of go either way. Some people add that little quick back to D for the little kind of turnaround or tag. People call it different things. Um, so that's that's sort of the basic what I call guitar strum on your right hand. You know, just kind of. And if you're interested in getting that sound. Um, there is a lesson on that in the strum pattern section um, over at mandolessons.com. I've got a whole series on different strumming patterns. So that's sort of what you might hear if you go to a bluegrass festival, except the mandolin is not going to be playing those particular chord shapes probably. In, in bluegrass, if you're at a bluegrass festival um, or a bluegrass jam somewhere, People are often going to be using this shape, which is a the sort of classic G mandolin chop shape. And again, if these shapes look unfamiliar to you, you've got G, and then over to C, and then up to D. And sometimes I'll use this D, two, four, five. Yeah, similar sound. Um, there is lessons on those chords at mandolessons.com. Um, but to start off, let's uh, let's just look at the chord progression. Um, so a great way that I approach learning chord progressions is figure out what key it's in, like I said earlier, and then play that chord until it doesn't sound good anymore. <laughs> um, it kind of sounds too good to be true, but it's not. That's really a good way to... Um, figure out where things are going and sort of the more songs you learn and the more you listen to melodies and try to sing a little bit the more you'll get a natural sense of oh it sounds like it's going to go to a C chord here or a D chord um, but for now let's just start with that G chord we don't need any pad uh, any strum pattern yet let's just strum it I am a man of constant sorrow 
you get to sorrow, sorrow, and that G chord stops sounding good. At this point, you got two options. In bluegrass, you know, a lot of times it's going to be a three chord song. You're going to be using G, C, or D. So let's, uh, you know, you're already on G, so it's kind of a 50-50 chance to try a C or D. I am a man of constant sorrow. That doesn't sound good either with sorrow on a D chord. You only got one option left. Let's try that C. I am a man of constant sorrow. There it is. I have seen trouble all my days. And a good way um, that I think about remembering these chords is just remembering what word they change on. So it starts on a G. I am a man of constant, and then it goes to sorrow, or it goes to C on the word sorrow. Sorrow, I have seen trouble, trouble all my days. I bid farewell to old Kentucky, the place where I was born and raised. And then if you're doing the tag, the place where he was born and raised. It's just a quick D with the repeating of the last line. The place where he was born and raised. And back to G. So that's the um, basic pattern. Um, there's one chord I sometimes throw in the middle. Um, I am a man of constant sorrow. I'm just adding this. Um, it's a, I use it as a G. It's a G dominant seven shape. Um, I'm not using the E string at all. It's just the G, D, and A strings. Um, and it's uh, open G string, third fret on the D, and second fret on the A string. And that's a nice G7. So we have, I am a man of constant sorrow. So it kind of comes in on the second half of man. I am a man of constant sorrow. I have seen trouble all my days, etc. Um, and so that's you know that's if you if it's just you and maybe another instrument or two, um, sort of using those big strum patterns that really put out a lot of sound. I kind of think of it as the guitar strum. I might have already said that. Kind of have a little alternating bass with a strum up top. Again, uh, there's a lesson on that in the strum pattern section of my website. Um, but if you're at a bluegrass festival, there's already going to be, there's probably already going to be a guitar doing that. And the guitar is, you know, it's lower pitched and it's kind of a deeper, warmer sound. So that that area is already taken, that sort of sonic space is already taken by the guitar. Um, and the bass is going to be going boom, 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 boom. So that beat, boom, boom, is going to be taken by the bass. So the mandolin's sort of natural position in a bluegrass ensemble is to play on what's called the offbeat, where uh, the guitar, or sorry, the bass isn't playing. So the bass is going boom, boom, boom. Boom, we're going to use this chop shape um, and get, go boom, 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 boom. I am a man of constant sorrow. I see trouble all my days. Etc. And I use this D, this two four five. You can also use the seven four five. I've seen trouble all my days. I kind of use them interchangeably, so don't get turned around if I switch things up on you. Um, in any case, so that's that's a pretty sparse sound coming out of the mandolin. Sometimes I'll double up with the bass a little bit and just play kind of a low note. I So that's uh you know just rather than playing just on the off boom boom we're adding sort of with that bass boom 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 so 
That's a nice strum pattern. Now there's a bunch of words to this song, um, and um, I'll have a link below this video at mandolessons.com that will have a bunch of words for you to sing. Again, because it's an old song and a lot of people have sung it, the words very widely. Um, one thing that popped into my head right now is the second uh, common sort of second half of the first verse is, I bid farewell to old Kentucky, the place that I was born and raised. I'm from Maine. I'm not from Kentucky. <laughs> so, uh, you know, feel free to change that around to wherever you live. Or just sing Kentucky. It doesn't really matter one way or the other. Um, so that's a sort of an intro to sort of how I would approach playing chords for this. And, you know, we'll get in in future lessons. Um, I'm going to talk you through playing the melody um, and then sort of embellishing the melody and then taking bluegrass-style solos over the melody, but the best kind of most informed way to learn to play the melody is to be able to sing the melody. So again, you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm no professional singer by any means, but what I do is I sing to A, it makes me a better singer, um, you know, any little bit of practice helps, just like playing an instrument. Um, and it also uh, allows me to get the melody in my head so that when it comes time to play um, play the melody on the instrument. I'm not sort of starting from scratch. I can I can find those notes because I can sing them. Um, so all this um, is sort of getting geared up to jump into sort of more of the bluegrass style. But you know, try out the chords with those two patterns: the that sort of guitar strum that I call it, and then also the. Etc. Um, you know, play around with that. Uh, try to memorize some lyrics, maybe, and then uh, look to the next lesson, and we'll work on the melody. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, um, there's a bunch more ta uh, videos over at mandolessons.com, um, as well as a couple ways to donate if you uh, appreciate these lessons. Uh, a little donation always helps, but it's not necessary by any means. Um, so keep an eye out for the next lesson, and uh, we'll jump into some melody playing. Uh, thanks so much. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.